to this segment, Facebook Live. We're so excited today because today I have my special guest and good friend, Dr. Z, a health and wellness expert. Um, she's also a regular on Dr. Oz and has written this best-selling book, 21 Days to Resilience. And she's here today to teach us how to make resilience brownies with mm -hmm. using our organic chocolate lovers brownie mm -hmm. mix. Yeah, I'm so excited to be here today. Oh, this is so we're, fun. We're so excited to have you. Part of what Foodsters is about is, you know, we have created this line of organic baking mixes. And what we do is we take these great base mixes and we're able to customize mm -hmm. them. So we give people inspiring recipes. And because it's January and a lot of people have some New Year's resolutions, we thought it'd be yeah. great to have you come on and uh, tell us how to make this awesome recipe. Yeah, and these brownies, honestly, they're so full of nutrients, but they also taste really good and they're mood boosting anxiety reducing they help regulate sleep there's so I need that <laughs> I need there's that. so many good things in these brownies kids and adults will love them so and they have kale and maybe my kids yeah. won't know that there's kale in them so that's a great way to put the kale in yeah, right okay great. cool so I'm just gonna start it out by using our pumpkin seeds and instead of just regular pumpkin seeds we or going to coat them in bubbly sweet goodness and it's yeah. going to be delicious. We're going to candy them. Pumpkin seeds are amazing. They're so full of minerals and one mineral in particular they're, they're really um, potent is magnesium and magnesium reduces anxiety. Helps regulate Another thing our stress. Need. This is just an episode for me. <laughs> like, it anxiety, relaxes our stress, muscles. Sleep. It reduces pain. It reduces inflammation. So these are awesome. So just pour these in a really hot pan. So this has been heating for a little bit and, and they're not they could be a great snack to put in kids yeah lunch. you can totally put it in a kid's lunch because they're a seed not a nut so for right. nut free schools um, my kids love to snack on these and we're just gonna wait until they start popping you can sort of hear it a little bit mm -hmm. yeah they're kind of all the healthy fats in them are starting to sizzle a little bit oh yeah and they're starting to brown oh yeah. pop yeah. That's okay, it. Okay. Pop. So Very right when careful. it starts to pop, you add sea salt. We have Himalayan sea salt. It just has a slightly higher mineral content than regular sea salt. So we want to use that. And then our maple syrup. Ooh. Full of minerals as well. So this will be a nice complement to our mineral-rich pepitas. And maple syrup can give you a lot of energy, right? A lot of energy. Um, I mean, it, listen, it's still, it's still a sugar. It's still yes. a sweetener. Um, but it definitely can give a boost of energy. So we're gonna wait until it bubbles slightly, and then we're gonna take our cookie sheet yes, that's been lined with either parchment paper job. or um, a silicone baking mat. Baking mat, exactly. And we're just gonna let this heat for one more second, kind of really stir it up, make sure the salt and maple syrup have all melted together. Then we're gonna turn our heat off and put it on a cookie sheet. And the key here is to let it cool completely. So once it's on a cookie sheet, kind of lay it out. Up. Yeah, and spread that out. Perfect. And you kind of want to just beat it down. And for those watching, stay tuned. We're going to be doing a giveaway at the end of the show. Um, and we're going to be giving away a signed copy of Dr. Z's book, along with some baking mix, organic chocolate lover brownie baking mixes. So you can make this at home. Cool. So we've Sort of, I'm gonna use your okay. spatula to get these yummy <laughs> pepitas off mine. Kind of do that, and there we go. Okay, so just let's just put this all aside. So this is gonna go on top, right? Or these we're gonna yeah, we're gonna okay. put on top of the brownies. So instead of the sprinkles, not so good for resilience. We're gonna do pepitas. Sorry, <sighs> okay. but not sorry. <laughs> okay, so. Um, the, these are the superfoods that we're going to be putting into the brownies. You get a good sense of what they're going to be um, here. But if we want to just move over to yeah. our bowl to start, we want to just steam some kale. So this is one bunch of kale. And what I've done is taken out all the stems because these are really hard, not really palatable um, to eat. So you de-stem them, you sort of rip them off, put the kale um, in a bowl, steam them slightly in the microwave or if you have a steamer just for a minute or two. Um, and then it'll wilt, and then you can blend it more easily okay. in a food processor or a blender. So we've already done that, so you guys don't have to watch this do magic. that. Magic. <laughs> it's like the, the videos where you just <laughs> so, clap your hands and then it disappears. So, like um, yeah, so yeah, it's kind of like a soup. It's like a smoothie, right? <laughs> but this is fibrous, 
so high in B vitamins, energy boosting, mood yeah, regulating. Another trait that okay. we need. So these are this is excellent. So we're just gonna put this aside. And while we're doing the kale bit, we need to make our chia eggs. These are vegan brownies. So instead of eggs, what we're gonna do is combine chia with water. There's about two tablespoons here, six tablespoons of water. We're gonna combine them, stir them a tiny bit. And does that like replace one egg, two eggs? It replaces it about, I would say about two eggs. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's binding. And so chia is really high in omega-3 so fatty acids. And we might have all heard of these, you know, they're, they're really obviously good for us. They're good for us from a mental health perspective, which I'm obviously really interested in, is um, they help regulate depression. And they actually can reduce depressive symptoms. So, um, and chia also is great. It helps us feel like we're full a little mm -hmm. longer than we actually are. So, um, and chia is great. I get, we get people writing in or on Instagram or Facebook and we see, you know, people telling yeah. about how they use chia in our recipes. Right. I use I've chia everything. People put them in our chocolate chip cookies. They put them in the brownies. Right. We actually make them like cookies. Yeah. They put them in our cupcakes. Right. So, but remember they can be, they're very binding. So if you do add them to recipes, mm -hmm. you want to help accommodate for this. So if you're doing chia and egg, you might want to think through, mm -hmm. you know, how dense your baked goods are going to actually be. So we're going to let our chia sit for a little bit, and you're going to see that they're going to start to pop out in little, almost like silicone balls. Okay. So you know, silicone, silicone, silicone. Um, and like little look, balls. And what's cool about what it's about to create that little um, clear structure around it is it mm -hmm. goes through our our colon actually a lot easier than other fibrous foods. Okay. So it's great for our bowels and all sorts of fun things but it's just an easier way to process and get toxins out of our body which is nice to kind of soak up all that that good stuff so while that's right. sitting we're going to start combining fun part to make our brownies so we are going to use we're going to put our kale mixture in with this looks awesome doesn't it <laughs> <laughs> just kidding but i swear it's really good um, and what's great is it's, it's just, bright. Yeah, it's bright. And you can use spinach if you don't have kale. You can use frozen kale. You can use anything just to get some of that green into the brownie. will go a long way for you. And now we're going to add our chia egg. So this has had a minute. Oh, you see this? So it's like starting to create. Oh, yeah. Do you see this kind of mm -hmm. fine film? So this Very cool. Is, the kids love it. It's like a science see? experiment, right? Cooking yeah. Is, Oh yeah, you've got to do this with your kids. This is so much fun. So we're just going to pour this all in. You see how it's binding together? And the more that kids are involved in the process, the more likely they'll They're gonna eat, eat it, it and right. taste it, and, and try I, it. Like, so I make chia what... pudding, and you and know, you have two in the kids. morning, I have two kids, a four-year-old and a two-year-old. Um, so we do a lot of this stuff together. And chia is awesome. They love chia. They ask for chia and everything. So we're just going to combine this, let right. it sit for another minute. So again, we're talking about... Resilience Brownies, right. it's January. We have a lot of New Year's resolutions and goals. So we want to ask the audience, what are their uh, your goals for 2017? And we're mm -hmm. going to pick um, a winner for our giveaway. And we can talk right. about our goals and talk about really, you know, your, you know around your book right. too and how, right. how to stay res resilient and, you know, around January is the yeah. time when people make New Year's resolutions. Right. Like, what's your take on, you know, how do you stick with them? Like, how do you get in that mindset yeah. that, you know, it's going to be January 1st, you're all ready to go to the gym, and then January 5th, you're it's like, so oh, funny. You always see a huge influx of people in January at the gym, and then February rolls around. Not so much anymore. The gym's fairly empty. You know, I'm actually, um, as a psychologist, not a huge fan of making resolutions mm -hmm. on New Year's because people don't really keep them. Right. Um, I advocate more of just, you know, kind of goal setting throughout the year mm -hmm. and, and really using New Year's as a time to enjoy yourself, a time mm -hmm. to kind of reflect and sure, you know, create a couple new goals right. if you're more apt to keep them. But I would say if you are going to goal set and create resolutions, make them um, really easy to meet. Right. You know, like don't set yourself up for failure. Fair, yes. like, you're not going to say Jan 1, okay, I'm going to write a book this year. You know, I mean, yeah, sure, if you want to, you know, yeah. that's a great goal, but then break it down into much smaller steps so that they're more easily, you know, attainable. Right. Because that way you'll sort of trick your brain into thinking, oh, I can actually do this because I just achieved, you know, this little bit and this little bit and this little bit. So that's sort of my, my take. I love it. Yeah. So that's what's what's your what's your goal for this year? Did you make resolutions this year? You know, I tend not to make those big okay. resolutions because, because I tend not. Because both, you know. Yes, both, and then I tend not <laughs> yeah. to be able to fulfill them. So, you know, I think the goal this year is um, 
you know, it's just spending more time yeah. with the family. I think yeah. Food Stores has allowed me to incorporate my work with the family. They're always involved in the recipe making, and so that's been really fun. But you know, just obviously, it's been great to see the company flourish, and we're just excited about what's to yeah. come and our that's retail fun. distribution. We're now in um, stores on the east coast and the west coast we're in gelson's and whole foods and awesome. fresh market so we're excited to be at a store near you soon and awesome. that's what we're yeah yeah that's amazing i remember talking to you were just saying right that this was just a concept and it's a concept all and now look at us come together we have a best-selling book mm -hmm. well you've been doing it for a while and how did you get into wellness um, you know, I've always been really fascinated with human behavior and how people mm -hmm. think and what makes, you know, you react to a situation mm -hmm. totally differently than I would, for example, mm -hmm. the exact same thing. Um, and I, you mean, I would like totally freak out <laughs> on something and she would be saying, they're like, no, oh, uh, no, 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 no. Um, you know, that's the thing too. There's often a misconception with positivity and resilience that you always have to have everything together and you mm -hmm. always have to think positive. And in fact, that's really not true. If you are always thinking positive, there's something kind of wrong with you. Um, and part of, you know, positivity and being resilient is accepting the negative and accepting mm -hmm. that we're going to have, you know, mm -hmm. bad feelings and bad things are going to happen. And we're just, you know, we're going to, we're not just going to get through it, but we're going to use that challenge to help us grow in some way. Mm -hmm. And that's really what resilience is all about, you know, for me. And that's why I wrote the book because it's a skill and no one's teaching us how to do it. So um, that's what I wanted to kind I love of it. help provide. And these brownies. And the brownies. Okay, back to okay. the brownies. So, so we can talk we've, all day about this. <laughs> we've let our chia seeds kind of bind with the kale, so that's awesome. And then we're going to add in our... The our Not the brownie mix. Yeah. See, I get so excited about our brownie mix. So chocolate. This is what I gravitate to. We have chocolate. We have honey here, but if you're going, you know, really, really vegan, um, you can use a brown rice syrup, you can use agave, you can use maple syrup, Got it. take your pick, but you want sort of um, a healthier sweetener. We're not going to use sugar in here, although sugar, cane sugar is, can be totally fine and is in our brownie mix already. So we're just going to mix that up and that's going to help bind it a bit. Okay. All right, now we're gonna throw in this awesome mix. This is all organic, and it already has um, chocolate and cacao powder yep. in it, um, which is so high in flavonoids and polyphenols, which are these antioxidants that give our energy a boost, really help our brain focus better, give us energy. It's also relaxing and also high in magnesium, right? So again, there's right. that magnesium. And it's the cleanest and greenest. Right, out there. Right. Of, all, of the mixes. Right, yes. right. But I'm talking about chocolate yes. specifically, mm -hmm. too. Um, you know, dark chocolate is actually really good for you. You want to find a chocolate that's really low in sugar, doesn't have any milk in it. If you're going to have a piece of chocolate a day, go for dark it. Chocolate, right? um, so we're going to add in a little water now, too. Okay, let me have to just So you can start to see that this is really coming together well. Make sure you guys are writing in your goals. goals yes. Okay, goals, guys. Any goals? We want to hear. Any questions? And if you have any questions, Dr. Z is here too. So if you have any questions, ask away. Yeah. Anybody read her book? Um, okay, so you this. see how this is becoming a really nice consistency? I'm going to keep this thing. This is a good workout right. too. So I'm going to pour these in. Yeah, so these are cacao nibs. Okay. So just a really pure form. Purest yeah, form smells, of chocolate. Smells so good. Smells it's so good. hard to watch these videos because you can't. And it's going to give it a little bit of a crunch. Now we are adding in tart cherries. These are amazing. It's one of the only food sources of melatonin, so it's actually going to help regulate your sleep cycle a bit better. And we need our sleep to be resilient. Oh, so like four hours sleep is probably not good. Nah. <laughs> No, actually, people need people need between seven to nine hours. Yes. I would say a sweet spot is about so that eight. would not be my New Year's resolution. Yes, <laughs> because I probably wouldn't be able to. Reach no, that goal. no, you, yeah, you, you. But now I'm gonna eat these tart cherries. No, so but one by one. It's gonna have a big bowl. You increase next to my bed. your sleep one hour at a time. You okay. must. I promise. Yes, I promise. Okay. I also have to, I think one of your traits too is being flexible. Yes, I read about that in my book. Which is so yeah. important, I think, as a parent, mm -hmm. as a working mom, you know, really not being so hard on yourself. Yeah. Um, yeah, being not flexible. being hard. Things aren't going to always be perfect, 
as an entrepreneur, I'm also a control freak. Not just that, but often, that yeah, but like hard. often the best things in life come at unexpected moments. Mm-hmm. So flexibility is also about being open to, you know, opportunities that arise that you otherwise would be closed off to because you're stressed out or you're running right. to the next thing. I know everything good in my life has sort of come at a random, yeah, you have no idea. Of a random thing. So, all right. So we've got this, this has a beautiful consistency as you can tell. Okay, we've got our beautiful little, to our me pan that we because I know it's chocolate. Yeah, okay, yeah. we've sprayed our pan with um, that? Non-stick. Okay, non-stick plant-based oil. You can use a coconut oil, canola oil, olive oil. So you're going to scrape this bowl down and preheat your oven to 350. And once we've got this in the pan, we're going to bake this for about 15 to 20 minutes. All right, and do we have any goals? I think we have one goal. Yeah, we have one goal from okay, Catherine. From Catherine. Okay. Yeah, Catherine Fredrickson said that her goal is cooking at home more and not eating out every night. Oh, that's oh, a great goal. I love that. Thank you, Catherine. That's an awesome goal. Um, you know, cooking in is one of the best things you can do, and it also promotes, you know, time with your family. Get your family involved, you know? Like, get them, get them engaged. You don't have to be just the only one, but it's going to be healthier to cook at home. You know what's going into your food. Mm-hmm. You're spending time with people you love. And um, there's some really delicious homemade recipes these days. And easy. Funny Quite easy. easy. Okay, and then we're going to pour these candied pepitas. So, you can, so they've probably kind of crunched together at this point. And so can I like when they cool? Yeah. Okay, so you so. can see. So these are the ones we mm. just made. They've just cooled, and they're stuck together. So you want to just kind of – I know they're so good. I'm gonna okay, I can just eat, keep eating those. Sorry, yeah, I'm so that, sorry. You should, you should put those, these on fast. Send these through here. to you. So what are we doing here? We're, mm. just, we're just doing okay. this. On top. Okay. This is the best part. Adds a little bit of a crunch. Mm. And you're getting that load of magnesium that we need to relax, but also to keep focus. So remember, all these minerals and nutrients are mood regulating, and they help you relax, um, but they also don't make you sleepy. Right, you'll still stay focused. And that's what resilient people do really well, is they're able to focus on what's at hand, they're able to problem solve more easily. And incidentally, when you think positive thoughts, when you're more optimistic or hopeful, with your thinking patterns, you release hormones that help your brain that's enough. focus. <laughs> she's not focused. I'm not focused. But she's happy right now. I'm happy. Um, so, I'll be okay. focused after I This has a lot. I mean, you can add as much as you want. I kind of went a little overboard on those, but. All right, and then just pop them in the oven, 15, 20 minutes, and you're, yeah, 325. Right. Let's Should we go, taste like this? Let's go. Let me show. Look, again, magic of TV. Woohoo! We got it. So this yeah. is what they end up as. And then, hmm. again, we're giving away sign book and food stores brownie mix. So right in your mm-hmm. 2017 goals, we're going to pick a winner here soon. Okay, I want you to try these, because you have a thing with texture, too, right? Yes. Yes. So some people, you know, have the misconception that just because something is healthy, it's not going to taste very good. No, <laughs> not you. No, but like people in general yes. say to me, oh, you make these healthy things, they probably don't taste very good. Yes, but, but these look really good. Anything with chocolate, how can it not be good? Mmm. 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 They're really good. It's like fudge. It, I wish they were fudge. You want like a little fudge bar. Mmm. Mmm. And the the cherry with the chocolate, and then the little bit of salty sweetness on top. This is insane. This is I, so good. This, I mean, I'm just gonna pat myself on the back right now. I'll, I'll pat it for you. you no, I'm just gonna go like this. <laughs> okay, we have one more goal. We'll do one more goal. Yeah, we have one more goal from Cindy. She's mm, loving the recipe, yes, mm. and she said that she wants to live a healthier lifestyle all around. Oh, that's a lofty oh, goal. That. That's awesome. I love that. And one way you can do that is now by knowing that you want to have a healthier lifestyle, breaking that down into little bits and pieces. What about your lifestyle now do you want to change? You know, do you want to eat healthier? Do you want to go to the gym more? Do you want to, you know, spend more time with friends to create that social connectivity that's really important for resilience and health? You know, things like that to really you know, make it easier for yourself to attain those goals. That's fantastic. Cheers to you. I'm going to keep eating. Yeah, I can't <laughs> stop eating. I, since I don't well, have a drink with me. 
Mm. Thank you so much mm. for being so on. This fun. is so fun. Um, mm. Can you tell everybody where to get your book now? I mean, I'm you sure can Amazon get my book. Or, yeah, Amazon, Barnes and Noble, anywhere books are sold. And I love to hear from my readers. So reach out to me. My website is on the book. There's a contact page. I'd love to hear what you think. If you have any questions, comments, um, you know, this isn't easy. At first, it's going to feel like a bit of work. Mm -hmm. But, you know, we go to the gym. We don't just stop working out or stop eating healthy and expect to stay healthy. Mm -hmm. We have to kind of keep it up. And our emotional health works very much in the same way. So I urge you to really keep up with this. You are important. You know, you take care of everyone else, that. most likely. But you have to take care of yourself, too. I love that. So this is a little investment into you. Well, I hope you come on and we're going to give you every one of our mixes and you're going to make yes. something fabulous. So we yeah, want to have you it. on again Thank and you. Um, create these awesome recipes. And you can also go online um, to foodsters.com yep. to get this recipe. I think we posted it today. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah. And, and we can't wait to do we the We will giveaway. pick a winner. Should we pick one now? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so Catherine was the first to ride in. Um, about cooking at home more and not eating out that. every night. Mm -hmm. I love that. That's along with our theme. So, yeah. Catherine, Catherine from, we know where she's from, but you're the winner. We'll get in touch with you. Thank you okay, very guys. much. Have